Uh, I'm Georgie. I'm, uh, we're going to talk, if you don't mind, the full four minutes about my husband's balls. Um, <laughs> yeah, there you go. He wouldn't mind. We've been together since 96. He's, uh, he's the only man I've ever made love to. Twice. <laughs> and... <laughs> So my husband, right, he wakes up. Don't worry about these balls. There was a lump in the balls, it's in a bin now, he's safe. But he wakes up, and you know when they're looking at you in bed when you're sleeping? That used to be romantic. But if it happens after 20 years of marriage, it's a bit fucking freaky, isn't it, right? <laughs> Something's wrong and he's having a rummage. And it wasn't for good reason, it was a work day. And... <laughs> I just wake up to him staring at me like that. I'm like, what's going on, babe? He was like, something's wrong. Something's... He pulls the bed sheets back, right, and he's just got this one... One bollock, right, just like... Not even just the size of two bollocks melded into one. It's like fucking like a space hopper. Like you could bounce around the cul-de-sac on it. Like, like oh, my... Fuck. I, was just, I had to go and have a look at it, cos he can't self-assess. Now, this is the bit he doesn't want me to say on telly, Butch. It's cos he's got a belly, you know what I mean? He can feel it, but he can't see it. I mean... <laughs> Like, I fed him, I'm fine with it. I've never shagged anything that weighs less than me. I don't feel dainty if I do. So... <laughs> <laughs> so I go down to the end of the bed and it was just fucking huge. Like, you'd, like if, if you'd be sat behind a bald man in the audience like that, but bigger, and like one pube every four metres. Like, it was just... <laughs> I've seen loads of balls like that as a nurse. I was laughing, which is not the right thing to do, <laughs> apparently. And then he says, T -t what's going on? Why would you ask your comedian wife to describe that car crash of a scrotum? <laughs> Why would you do that? It looked like Pac-Man was eating a volivant. It was the most... <laughs> it was just the most ridiculous looking dick. Now, here's something else you need to know, ladies. If you're going to take a picture of your husband's dick, ask them first. He wasn't impressed. Because I thought, I'll take it. Like I said, he couldn't feel it over the belly. Do you know what? If you do see me husband... <laughs> or edit that bit out... He, he, or shall we pretend that he has got, like, a six-pack? He can't, he can't assess his balls cos he's got a six-pack and an enormous dick and little arms. That's what's <laughs> going on. <laughs> Keep that bit in, right? So... <laughs> So I took a picture. Oh, my shit, he lost it. He was like, do not take a picture of it. That'll be in the cloud now. That'll be on fucking PowerPoint meetings and just like that. That'll be on the children's iPads. I'm like, well, you wanted them off Minecraft, didn't you? <laughs> Should keep them off. He said, what, what's wrong with it? I'm like, I don't know. I'm not a doctor, am I? Not a doctor. You need to go to a hospital. He said, get the Savlon. Anyway, he went for hospital. He went for hospital. He's had it done. It was a cyst in a hydrocele. He's got his two bollocks back. He came home with a little wound, a little crater that needed packing. Like, fucking hell, you just... He said, I've told them that you'd pack it. I'm like, no, I've got two degrees, and you tell me how to stack a dishwasher. We're not doing that. <laughs> you can have the district nurses. That's what you can have. He was all, hmm. Just like, ah, you're thinking of the television nurses. That's what you're thinking of, mate. <laughs> you're getting the district nurses. They look like woodland creatures. <laughs> <laughs> First day the nurses come in, he toddled off to the door like this. Oh, my God, he was in pain, cos I like endone. And, um, <laughs> Just heard a knock on the door, and then he opened it. I went, like, <laughs> through the line. And then I just heard, hello, I'm Patrick, I've come to dress your wounds. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pete Georgie!